everyone and welcome again to The Doctor Show. I'm Dr. Zahra al and we're here to talk about medicine and health and medical care and any issues that's related to that that you've been wondering about. So if you have any question, if you are wondering about something and you don't know the answer to, make sure to Google it and then you can ask me and uh, I'm here to answer. You can find us on social media, you can find us, you can find our previous episodes and you can ask us anything you want. All right, so today we're going to talk about something we literally, all of us, have had it at some point in our lives, which is a sore throat or cold or flu or all of that. And I'm going to tell you what's the difference and the types and all what we've been like experiencing. First of all, I'm not talking about COVID-19 and coronavirus. I'm not talking about it at all. I'm talking about the normal cold and flu and that we have. So usually the cold and flu that we have is usually viral. So it means it's caused by a virus. But there are another types that are caused by bacteria, which is called strep throat. So the common one is called strep throat. So the viral, the viral one that we always experience could be runny nose, could be watery eye, could be coughing, congested nose, constantly coughing, whether it was a productive cough or a dry cough, and um, it could be like tiredness, fever, and all these symptoms that can cause a flu or a cold. So all of that is usually viral. Does it have a treatment to actually stop it? Unfortunately, no. It's usually it's self-limited. Self-limited means it goes away by itself. It means that it usually ends alone. So it ends without you um, doing anything, whether you do something or not. But some things, because it could disrupt your life, something could be a reliever to that. So like what? Like um, uh, over-the-counter medications like paracetamol, like ibuprofen, like aspirin, all of that you can take it to make your symptoms lower. And by the way, please do not give aspirin to children because it could cause something called Ray syndrome, which basically affects the nerves and the nerve, um, uh, the nerve uh, generation of a child. So please do not give them aspirin. Anyway, we get back to uh, we can uh, give them a lot of hot and a lot of plenty of fluids to overcompensate whatever they lose in their body. Uh, I need to make them to have all the rest possible to give them vitamin C to boost their immunity and all of that. So yeah, we do have some, uh, some things that make them get relieved a little bit, but in general, no. There is no actual treatment. It could, if it happens, that's it. It happens. So what is the first symptom that starts? Sore throat is the, usually the first symptom it starts whether it was viral or bacterial. So sore throat, it usually stays for a day or two. And then when it gets relieved, uh, when it gets better and it gets relieved, um, other symptoms might appear like all the symptoms I said, like fever, like runny nose, uh, like coughing, all of that. But usually it does start with a sore throat. So that's the viral one I told you. It's okay to have, it's self-limited. Sometimes we have vaccines, like flu vaccines against it, once every year. They're not that effective, but we do take them and change them every year and all of that. What about the bacterial one? Bacterial one is called strep throat. Strep coming from the bacteria Streptococcus bacteria, which causes these um, these infections. Usually it, it, um, it comes for our children, that's most commonly for children from age 5 to 15 and it's actually more dangerous, has severe symptoms like higher fever, like more body aches, like all of that, higher symptoms uh, that causes children. And how do we know that this is actually um, a bacterial infection, not a viral infection. How do we know all of that? We need to go, to go to a doctor and the doctor makes a swab to culture to see what's inside this, uh, your saliva and all of that, what's inside of it to make sure it's a bacteria. Then he can give you the antibiotics or she can give you the antibiotics, which is the treatment for a bacterial infection. By the way, the strep throat, if you don't treat it and if it actually becomes very, very severe, it could cause heart valve, rheumatic fever, heart valve problem for the child. It could cause further problems. It could be very dangerous later on. So we need to go actually treat it. What's the treatment? The treatment is something called antibiotics. Antibiotics are drugs that are only an only effective and you should only take them it's against bacteria not viral not anything so when you have a normal flu and the and your mom and your dad or your family or grandma suddenly tells you go take antibiotics that's not 
that's not okay at all. No, because they did not do the swab. They don't actually know if it's bacteria or a virus. If you take antibiotics when they are not indicated to take it, your body might be resistant to it later on. So when you actually need it, when you're in need of it, it will not work. Your body will be resistant to it. So you need to try other antibiotics until you find the perfect one. So is it worth it? Not really. So please do not take antibiotics unless until you necessarily, necessarily need it. It's very, very important to know this information. Please, I cannot stress enough how important you, you should know this information that you only should take it when the doctor prescribes it. And when the doctor prescribes it, when the doctor tells you to take it for four days, you take it for fully four days. You don't take it for one day and you feel better and you stop it. Even if you feel better, it could come back and your body should, should still take the drug until it's fully, fully effective. Anyway, so the treatment for the strep throat is the antibiotics. There are a few alarming symptoms you should know. They're very, very dangerous. If you have it, you should go to the hospital. If you have stiff neck, if you have a headache, too much headache, if you have earache, if you have malaise that you cannot move out of bed, if you have fever, very high fever, higher than 38.5 or 39, you have to go to the doctor immediately, especially if it's a fever. High fever is not something you should be okay to have, so make sure to go to the doctor right away. The last thing I'm going to talk about is something called tonsillitis. Tonsil, the tonsils is the glands that we have in the bottom of our, um, of our throat is actually there to help you fight infection, but sometimes it gets infected as well, like everything else in your body. So when, it ha when, it, when you have it, you might have very difficulty swallowing, discharge coming out of it, um, earache, you have very high fever, you have bad breath, it's a lot of symptoms. But when you have them, you should know that uh, it's tonsillitis. The treatment is nothing. You don't take antibiotics for it because it could be viral. But you have a lot of plenty of fluids, you eat a lot of ice chips and something, and ice cream and all of these things could actually make it if you're less irritated, um, you have a lot of um, vitamin C and it boosts your immunity. You take over-the-counter medications like paracetamol, ibuprofen and all of that just to feel better. But if it gets worse, if you have it multiple times a year, then you can have tonsillectomy, which is taking the tonsils out. It will not affect your body. Now you have other organs to help you fight infections. It's okay to take it off, but not right away. A lot of people, especially in our culture, whenever the, the child has one tonsillitis, that's it. They go and make surgery. No, you, sh you wait until you have it multiple times per same year. There's a criteria, the doctor knows, multiple times per same year, and then you have tonsillectomy, but usually it is something okay to have. It's an infection we usually have every winter. We all have sore throat, we all have flu, we all have it. And make sure to know when it's not normal flu and it's COVID-19, but especially when you have dry cough. If you have, you begin your thing with dry cough and fever, make sure to go get tested. The test, the COVID tests are almost uh, everywhere in the country, everywhere. You can have it very cheap in some places, you can have it for free. Just go make a swab, make sure you're negative first, and then you take your treatments because it's very dangerous if you have COVID. We need to be very responsible about all the diseases we have. We need to be alert, responsible, and we know every information. That's why I'm trying to help you to know so when you have it, you'll be very responsible and you will not give it to other people around you. So please make sure to stay safe, make sure to stay healthy, and I hope I actually benefited to you today and I hope you guys have less flu as possible. Thank you guys very much for watching me and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Have a good day.